Hello Dragon Wisps, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be continuing the Dungeons and Dragons tutorials. Um, I'm going to be covering the half orc today. Um, I know it's been a while since, since the last uh, tutorial. I'm not sure. Like I, I, I know the last one I did was gnome. I'm not sure if I did half elf like included with the elf. Um, I'm not sure why I wouldn't have. It's not exactly, you know, super tied into it. You know what I mean? Like a half elf would uh, race video wouldn't be as long. Like it really wouldn't be as long. But anyway, I digress. We're we're doing the half orc today. Uh, before I begin. To get, like to get into in depth, I'd like to remind you all to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet, so that you can become a Dragon Wisp. And feel free to comment below any other videos you'd like to see or any uh, Dungeons and Dragons questions you may have. Um, a quick reminder that we do 3.5 edition, so um, the tutorial in general um, can uh, tie into other editions of Dungeons and Dragons, however, is most relevant to 3.5. And also, as always, uh, in the comment or in the description below, I will have the Patreon and shop links if you'd like to support the channel more directly. Um, you know, I'm set trying to save up for a, a laptop, so every bit, every little bit helps. And the Discord link is also there if you would like to come and play Dungeons and Dragons or even just talk. Like I said before, the Discord is the easiest way to get a hold of me. Alright, so anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the half orc. So the first and foremost thing about half orcs is that they are brawny. So, you know, you. It's starting to rain. So we'll get some uh, ambient rain sounds going. Um, so like, they're they're stronger, not as bright. Not as bright as the uh, other basic races. Um, however, definitely not as strong as a full-blooded orc, which... Um, I will cover in a different video. See, I, I think feel there's enough about the half orc, as opposed to the half elf, uh, that I can do a whole another video. And of course, with the half elf and the elf being in the same basic category, you know, the base races of the player, the player's handbook, as opposed to the orcs being in the monster manual, half orcs are in the player's handbook. Etc. And so on, so on. Anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry about that. All right. Um. Anyway, back on track. So the half orcs tend to be like more your barbarian or your fighter. Um. If you're like me and a couple of my players, and you like to play unorthodox characters, um. We, we've seen half-orc spellcasters. Um, I think the half-orc sor sorcerer? No, the half-orc wizard is the most amusing because of the negative to intelligence. Um, I've had a half-orc rogue. It was, it was interesting, to say the least. Um, bards are usually not... Anyway, so uh, let's get into the racial traits, shall we? So orcs get a plus two to strength. Like I had mentioned before, they're stronger. And a minus two to intelligence, because... Yeah. However, they also get a minus two to their charisma. So, yeah, they're strong, but kind of dumb and very, very rough around the edges, um, so they won't be as friendly. 
which is another reason why spellcaster doesn't really work. Because like even if you go with sorcerer, they uh, base their skills, uh, their spells on charisma, and if the, you don't have charisma, or is it wisdom? Is it wisdom? No, I'm pretty sure it's charisma. Well, that's another t t tutorial either. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, paladins, yes, their strength helps, but their uh, negative to charisma hurts a bit because the paladin uses charisma for their turn on dead checks. Same with clerics. So, realistically, half orcs are specifically designed to be your fighter or your barbarian. More so your barbarian. Because barbarian tends to not tr be try to be the team leader, whereas fighters have a tendency to be the leader. That it's it's just how it is, in my opinion. Anyway, so orcs are also medium sized, so they don't take size penalties. Um, no, but they also don't get bonuses like we had spoken before with the gnomes. They get bonuses for being small. So their bonuses are against medium and larger. But they also don't take the, the penalty for having a smaller weapon. Uh, the base land speed is 30 feet. Like most basic races. Apart from small and dwarf. Um, they, the, the half orc has dark vision. Um... And their dark vision is up to 60 feet. So up to 60 feet, they can see clearly, albeit it's, it's all in black and white. No, there, there, there's no color. But they can see it, like, function just fine with no light at all. Like the dwarf. Something that comes in really handy sometimes when you're doing a, a party dungeon crawl, obviously. You know, if you're doing a dungeon crawl, you've got a dwarf and a half orc. You're pretty much good if you don't have to worry about torches, um, or if torches go out, or if the light spell fizzles, or anything like that. Then your half orc is good to go. Uh, they're treated as orc blood, so anything that would affect an orc would affect the half orc. So a ranger's favored enemy, if it's an orc, would affect the half orc. A weapon of orc's bane, again, would affect the that the half orc. But there's also a perk to that. Like let's say you've got a, a magic weapon or something that only a, a, an orc can use, half orc is able to do so. So, you know, as always, you got a double-edged sword. Sorry, I think I've got an eyelash there. Um, let's see, automatic languages are common and obviously orcish. Because, let's, let's face it, what good are they if they can't uh, speak their own language? Now, now, their bonus languages include Draconic, Giant, Knoll, Goblin, and Abyssal. Smart half-orcs, who are rare, may know the languages of their allies or rivals. So, obviously, if your intelligence score isn't above 11, you just know common and orcish, but having access to those, if your DM is one of those DMs that says you can only know your race's languages, comes in handy. Then, there's the favored class, which, as mentioned before, is Barbarian, because orcs are built to be, or half-orcs, are designed to be Barbarians, or fighters, but mostly Barbarians. So what that means, uh, as I've mentioned before, why does that keep happening? As I've mentioned before, the multi-class uh, system allows you to take a second class or in some cases a third, but uh, 
let's not dilute ourselves entirely too much. But if it's not a favorite favorite class, but if it's not a favorite class, then uh, you know you've got the issue of an experience uh, penalty. So you know, if you don't want to suffer the experience point penalty, use a barbarian. Now, of course, that is something we'll get into further down uh, in this, these tutorials. But, but as I've stated before, right now our focus is getting you to the point where you can make your own character. Now, I suppose I should talk about my favorite and least favorite or half orc characters I have made. Let's see. My favorite. I would have to say was a monk. Um, I don't remember his name right now, but he was good. I think his name was Crunk. Now that I'm thinking about it, Crunk was a good monk. Um, Crunk was a good monk. Um, he. wasn't the brightest, um, he was wise, and he was dexterous, and he packed a punch, which obviously came in very handy for the campaign I was in, uh, because it was, it was basically a dungeon crawl campaign, and, um, being able to hit very hard came in very handy, particularly when we came across an entire nest of rust monsters. Being the only party member who didn't use a metal weapon or armor, I was basically like fighting rats. Large metal eating rats. But he was good. Crunk was good. Least favorite, I would have to say, was my half work bard. Because nobody took him seriously. He would walk into the tavern, ready to play his little lute. Uh, to, stare, to be a little stereotypical of a bard with a lute. And, you know, everybody immediately was, oh, well, I wonder who he stole that from. What poor dead adventurer is lying face down in the dirt so that that orc could have a loot? Yeah, wasn't taken seriously at all. But, anyway, that's half works for you. Um, if you have any further questions about them, feel free to comment below, and, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. I don't generally play a lot of half works. Um, I tend to go into the more unorthodox characters. I, obviously, when I'm DMing, I just have a wide array. But like, depending on the campaign, if I'm starting at a higher level, I will usually ask the the dungeon master for permission to use. Uh, Monster race, for example, which can be fun, can be very fun, especially when the the party's the only ones anywhere who believes that you're not evil. So anyway, thank you for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Uh, right about now, you should be getting the subscribe button up here, the latest video on the channel over here, a video recommended for you by YouTube over here. And over here will be the playlist of the Dungeons and Dragons tutorials. Again, thank you for joining me. And as always, have a peaceful day. Bye.